And I rise to uh, contribute uh, to the Leader of the House's uh, resolution. And uh, this is a workplace health and safety issue, and it's uh, part of the broader community safety initiatives. And of course, um, uh, after listening to the previous contributor, um, clearly this is about leadership, and there's no doubt this Andrews Labor government is showing leadership. And it's disappointing that the opposition uh, will not come along, along with that, and they're opposing this motion. So that's very disappointing. It is about the collective to beat this pandemic, uh, and we MPs should not be treated differently to any other community member. So it's not about me, it is about us, you know, being the MPs, our staff, our parliamentary staff, and also for the protection of our families. Um, you know, as of today, we see 95.1% of over 12-year-old's population has now had their first dose of the vaccines. And of course, 93.6% have had a second dose. So it just goes to show that Victorians are coming out in droves to get their vaccines. And they know how important it is uh, to be vaccinated. Of course, with this variant, the Omicron, um, getting the third dose is critical across all our state systems, through the local GP networks and through our pharmacies. And we know that there are still appointments available. And again, this Omicron variant um, has shown that uh, people that have had three doses uh, not coming down as ill as what the previous uh, strains had shown through Delta, um, which um, hit people a lot harder and had hospitalisations uh, quite a lot higher, and in particular in ICUs. Look, uh, it's important that we are vaccinated to be in this precinct, I think, anyway, to prevent and reduce and contain this virus here and in our community, and we should be setting that example um, throughout the community. And you know, people will know that my past experience was as a paramedic for some years and then as the union secretary of the ambulance union. Uh, so 38 years in the health industry. Uh, and I trust our public health officials and our medicos and their advice. And I've trusted them not only through my working career, but during all of my life. I trust them with my health now, not only because of a pandemic, but because of any underlying conditions that I may have. And I'm, I'm, I, I pat them on the back that they've kept me alive um, through their expertise. Um, so I trust them on the advice around vaccinations. Um, as I've done, as I say, all my life and through all those vaccination programs that we've all gone through uh, as children through the school ages. Along with these vaccination programs, um, the other health measures are just as important, and that's wearing the mask, the social distancing, the sanitisation. Um, they're very important um, to try and keep this virus at bay. Again, I'll refer to the fact that I speak to many paramedics and other health professionals, and they plead with me to make sure people get vaccinated. Um, it's crucial to them uh, in their work, um, but it's also crucial to the community in regard to how many people uh, are affected by this virus. I know the experiences of paramedics that work you know, 10, 12, 14 hour shifts, and sometimes greater than 14 hour shifts, and they do 14 hour night shifts in a lot of locations around the state. And sometimes due to this pandemic, they're expected to work past that 14 hours and it's very tiring and fatiguing. And in particular, when you know, they have to don PPE uh, in all types of weather and the fatiguing um, uh, levels of that in wearing that PPE, in particular in the hotter parts of the state, trying to keep their patients safe, trying to keep themselves safe and also trying to keep the other health professionals that they come into contact with safe. So many paramedics are working on a lot of their days off, their rostered days off. They normally work a four on, four off type of roster. So they're entitled to have four days off, but to keep the system going and to provide services to the communities, their communities, um, many of them will come in on their rostered days off. And I know in the Melton electorate alone, in the last quarter, there's been a 16% increase in caseload just in the last three months um, due to COVID. Um, these are exceptional times, and we have to understand that. This is a one in 100 year pandemic. So we need to um, clearly understand that and support our healthcare workers. Look, to make it easier to explain the importance of vaccinations, I'm gonna use an analogy of a basketball team. And let's say four out of your five players in the team are throwing the ball in the same direction to win the game. But one player keeps throwing to the other side. 
You've got two options to deal with this. You sideline that one player so you can win. And if you don't, it takes longer to win or you don't win at all. And we all want to win and beat this pandemic. But we can't have people throwing in a different direction to try and obstruct beating this pandemic. And we see that um, throughout the community. Uh, these are the people that choose not to be vaccinated. These are the people that choose not to prove whether they've been vaccinated. Uh, and these are the people that keep screaming out saying that they are being disadvantaged. Well, there's an easy way to fix the disadvantage part of it. Go and get vaccinated. Um, we had a popular tennis player recently in this state that thought he was better than bigger than everyone else. And guess where he is? He's back in his own country. Uh, he might be lapping up his lifestyle, but he's not here playing tennis and he didn't win the Open. And I congratulate um, Rafael Nadal for a great effort. In, and, and he spoke strongly about being vaccinated. So it's a simple program. This resolution is about a safe and healthy workplace and a safe and healthy community. And these vaccinations have enabled Victoria to open up safely. And we will keep Victoria open up and safe. That's the agenda. It is disappointing those opposite oppose the motion and keep sending a negative message to the community. Um, I'm strongly supportive of this motion and um, I know that there will be some terrific contributions following me from this side of the chamber, um, so I support the resolution.